Hello and welcome to Chess News Summary. I'm Lefifa Abdullah. Many Nigerians expressed disapproval and anger to government's plans to borrow $1.5 billion and another 0.9 billion euros as external loans. The Nigerian Senate had on Wednesday approved the loans, which it said would be sourced from the World Bank and the Brazil Export Import Bank. The abductors of students of Greenfield University have demanded an 800 million naira ransom. The Kaduna State Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Arwan, said the bandits retreated when security operatives moved to the location. A civil servant and a hospital employee are among suspects arrested for buying and selling of babies in Makordi, Benue State. Operatives of the Department of State Services, DSS, and the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons arrested two others in connection with the case. There is a major shakeup in the police force as senior officers attached to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, are recalled. Acting Inspector General of Police, al Ghali Baba, pledges to introduce new strategies in the fight against criminality. I have also promised to do my best to change the narratives as far as internal security is concerned in this country. On the business scene, the International Air Transport Association, IATA, estimates $47.7 billion as after-tax losses forecast in 2021. The forecast is premised on the impact of the lockdowns imposed to control spread of a new variant of coronavirus. The report, however, indicates that losses will be minimal in the African region because of relaxed travel restriction. And in sports, Manchester City consolidates their top position in the English Premier League by beating Aston Villa 2-1 on Wednesday. City is leading second place. Manchester United leads with 11 points as the league draws to an end. And that wraps it up for our package today. I'm Nefisa Abdullah. Thank you for joining us.